Hello, Grandma Daisy here. And the new chicken house is getting a thorough test out. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah. Bad goats. Oh, look at them come running. They've already been fed today. Oh, yes. You've already been fed. What? You think I'm going to feed you again? Yes, you do. Were you being bad goats and getting on the house? The new chicken house? Yes, you were. Yes, you were. <laughs> you are turds. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are, girly girl. <laughs> okay. Got through two more nights of work. <laughs> two more to go, and then I get a weekend. It is cold, 1st of April. We have had ice. I heard some of y'all had a ton of snow. What is with this weather? Are we going to have snow in June now? Probably. Just probably. I don't know. But I know that uh, the chicks out here are doing good. I put new heat lamps in with them today. Gave up. I'm going to put new heat lamps in. And uh, everyone's been fed and they're happy. <laughs> I'll show you in just a second. Well, Leslie, I know you're watching. Your roof held up to goat them. <laughs> Somehow them little boogers got up there and they was just stomping everywhere. So here we go. Let's have a look. Well, hi guys. Look how big you're getting. My goodness. Aren't these girls pretty? Yeah. Everybody staying warm? So yeah, it's pretty warm in there with that new light. And they got a new feeder. Holds more, because they're eating more. And they got their new water back there. So we're going to close them up and keep them warm. Say bye-bye, guys. Huh? Say still little. We're still not huge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hear a noise. What are you doing on the roof? Give me that in your mouth. What do you got that weed on your mouth for? Moon, you are the honoriest goat. Hop down off of there. Hop down off of there. What are you doing up there? Get down. Mama, tell your children to get down off of the roof. How'd you get up there, Moon? You are the honoriest tookie. You know that? You are an ornery, ornery girl. Yes, you are. I'm going to pet you. I'm going to pet you because you're an ornery girl. I might even give you a kiss because she's an ornery girl. <laughs> she says, oh, I don't like it. No, not you. You're too big. <laughs> Hopefully too fat. And uh, I have suspicion that uh, Elvis and Mama may have gotten frisky before he died. What do you think, guys? What do you think? I'm wondering. I'm thinking. That looks a little pregnant to me. Oh my. Oh dear. Goats breed like mice, you know. <laughs> I would be excited if Mama had some more little babies, but I think Moon and Star are going to have to find a home. Not because they're on the roof. Oh, heck no. No, goats just do that. But because... I just don't have time for them, and uh, I figure when I retire, I can have my whole goat dairy and goat farm if I want, because that's what I want. <laughs> That'd be a dream come true, wouldn't it? Here we go. We haven't seen uh, Romeo in a while. thought you'd like to visit Romeo. Oh, Romeo! Boo-boo! <laughs> so, yeah, Romeo's feathers are still being plucked. I think the girls are henpecking him. Well, see, things are going to get better, Romy. As soon as the weather warms up, you can get out. What do you think, boo-boo? Huh? And there's Mercutio, a little bit darker than his father, because his mothers were sex links, and they're very dark hens. Hello, Weena. Hello, Blackie. Now, here's an issue I've got. Someone, I think thinks that she's going to get broody. Look at this old girl in here sitting on some eggs. Hey, Delilah. You are Sammy. I can't remember which one you are. 
you uh, think you want to be a mama? You're almost four years old. Do you think you can be a mama? Are those eggs even fertile? Hmm. I don't know. She hasn't been around a Sarama rooster. That means they'd have to be half Romeo. But she's awful little. I don't think that... Well, you know, love conquers all. <laughs> Would be interesting. Bielefelder Sarama? Hmm. Whole new breed of chicken. Maybe Grandma will get rich selling them. You'd think those guys don't have any food. I fed them huge this morning. Might have just feed them some more. Wind's blowing and it's cold, guys. We gotta get inside. And I see. Can you see them in the corner? What's back there in the corner? Do you see it? I see an egg. Oh, yeah. It's like an Easter egg hunt every day. Grandma loves it. <laughs> hey, guys. I wanted you to see that Cody has been sitting down there. Hey, guys. I wanted you to see that Cody's been sitting down there for a very long time. And then... I thought he was lost and I was going to have to go get him. Now, you know he's had hip surgery. That's why he's walking like that. It's cold out today, so he's a little stiffer than usual. He's been getting a lot better. And Angus here is upset that Cody's down there. Aren't you, boy? So Angus has been barking in a high-pitched bark, trying to get Cody to come back home. And I think in a little bit, Angus is probably going to go down and get him. He's very concerned about Cody. He says, I am extremely concerned that he ha he won't find his way home. Cody! We may have to go get him, guys. We'll see. Well, look at that. What did you come all the way down here to drink some dirty water for, huh? You got clean water in the house, big fella. Come on. Let's go back home. Come on, Cody. You can do it. Look at you walking. That's great. And look at Scud. Scud just got out of the back fence somehow. And is chasing the neighbor's kid. How did he get out? Oh, Leslie, gonna come back over. Come to see Cody. Cody's eating good. It tastes better when you put it on the floor and then eat it up for some weird reason. I don't know why. But he's getting along great. So we're happy. We even think Cody's starting to hear a little. Cody! Well, you have to clap real loud. But hey, you know what? It's a little bit of sound. And that's a good thing. Because Cody could barely walk when we got him. And now you're doing a lot better, huh, buddy? He says, yeah, it's a little cold this morning. I'm kind of stiff. I've had all my meds, but they haven't quite kicked in yet. <laughs> you're doing good, buddy. You're doing good. We love you, Code Code. Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. <laughs> Hi, Mama Kitty. Hello, honey. Everybody's wanting to see the babies who have their eyes open now. Yeah, look at that face. Look at that. And there's, there's little Spatsy's son, I think, or daughter, who looks just like Daddy. Can you tell? Can you tell? There we go. They said light. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shh. Hissy, hissy. Mama's not very happy with me either. This is why I don't disturb her very much. Because she does not like me to bother her. She's been calling to them, trying to get them to get out of the box. There's little Morris. Yeah. Yes, Morris. <laughs> or Orange Julius. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Hello, you want to look up here? Let's see if I can see you. Who's hissing at me? Who's hissing? Was that you hissing at me, pretty girl? Yes, you was. Yes, you was. You know what? That'll get you held and kissed in my house. It's okay, Mama. Mama just heard the dog come in, and she's like, yes, nervous about it. I understand, sweetheart. Okay, okay, it's all right. She's going to try to cover them up. She still does that. She's a good mama. It's okay. It's okay. There we are. Oh, there's little orange Julius. You want to let me pick you up? <laughs> oh, I can pick him up. But then I don't have light to see him. I don't have a whole, a whole lot of light to see him with. 
It's okay, Mama. Can you see him? Is he cute? I'll try to lighten the film up so you can see him better. Mm. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> well, I'm afraid she's going to try to move him soon. So we're going to have to maybe put him back in that little playpen we had. So we can keep them gentle till I, they get big enough I can give them homes. Just about big enough to start trying to eat, too. Yeah, but they're fat. Oh, my goodness, little fatties. Mama's just keeping them so fed. Yes, honey, that's okay. I'll put him back. You hear her? Goodness, if weight has anything to do with it, this little guy's going to be a monster. You are a fattington. Oh, yes, you are. My goodness, what a cutie. Well, you know, we're partial to spats. <laughs> but I tell you what, Chunko Rama weighs twice as much as the other kitties. He must be going to be a big boy. Okay. okay. we got to go back home now. Mama's getting nervous, yes. Can you see him? Look at them little spatsy feet. <laughs> oh, the light. Oh, hey, hello. Hello. The light fell in. Mama wasn't happy about that. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, where are you going? Huh? Oh, you don't like being held at all. No, no. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. You're not going to fall. Why oh, the girls are always more nervous than the boys? <laughs> Maybe it's because they're smarter. I don't know. <laughs> okay, back you go. You're okay. Everybody just wanted to check in on you. Yep, everyone just wanted to check in on Mama and the babies, and there they are. Everything is good, guys. So far, so good. Yes, honey, I know. <laughs> All nine of our BB Saramas are doing good. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I got them a little box they could all get into. Nine of them in this teeny tiny box. Here's my hand. Looky here. Give you an idea how tiny they are. Hello, Raven. Woohoo! I got Raven. Raven fits in my <laughs> here. Let's try it this way. I've got little Raven. Mm. Raven Midnight. Our little blackie chicky. Mm. Oh, how cute. Get your face over here. Can anybody see you? You're so tiny, no one can see you. My goodness. Boy, look at me like that. I know. Yeah, peep peep. <laughs> Looking at me like, put me down. <laughs> okay, I put you down. Oh, fluff fluff. What are you guys doing in the box in there? Aren't they cute? They like their box. See, it's warm and we feel like we're hidden. You guys all happy over here? Yep. Birds with feather flock together. All the light colored ones are in here and all the other colored ones are in there. <laughs> Strange thing about chicks. There's grandma's keto bread. I just baked it in the thing and sliced it up and put it in there. No big deal. Well guys, I was going to do a little more filming. But I fell asleep, and presto changeo, before I know it, the day is gone, and I'm having to head back to work tonight to work a full night's 10-hour night shift, as most of you know who watch my show. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of filming I got to do on the animals and things, and uh, that's, that's it for now, guys. <laughs> I love you all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. My son called today. It's possible that he's going to come down Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so he'd help. But he said that last week, too. So, <laughs> we'll see. We just go with the flow around here at Grandma DC's house, don't we? If you want to help support my channel, you know, you go to my homepage, and I have a little donate thing down there in the corner. You don't have to. It's just if you want to. And, uh... Let's see what this weekend brings.